So we're taking a good look inside of the pack here. This is the pack. Um, I, in here we have like, this is what, and this is what you get when you download. Uh, one shots, we got kicks. Uh, we sampled two different, two different drum kits and two different um, set, you know, drum sets or what have you. So you get two different kicks from two different sets. Uh, we got a maple gum kick, which is, which is a Pearl Masters. And we did a WFL. Uh, have you say it something uh, something Ludwig? It's a Ludwig kit. Uh, William F. Ludwig something kit. Uh, WFL kit. Really punchy, really thick kicks. Uh, you you I'll, I'll play a second of it. Just you know here right here, so you can hear that. Really thick, nice kicks. Uh, same with the snares. I tell you this is what we want all in because that's what we all want is the snares, the thick, uh, nice snares. So I have like like nine different snares uh, in here, you know, and then we have this thing called wallet snares. Uh, and, and this is what you get. You get the one shots and there's folders with all of these samples with rim, with no rim. You get a dry, you get a one shot with the one shot is like the, the, the sample with the overheads, but you also get the room only. And then you get a hard, you know, these things and you get a medium and then you get a soft of each one of them or what have you. So you get different articulations of each particular snare, but you also get like room sounds, which is like straight up just the room, you know, banging in on it and stuff like that. So you can kind of get that in there. Uh, and then you've got, like I said, all these different ones. So we did these things called wallet snares, which we took every single snare and we sampled it. Um, by putting a wallet on there and then there, there's a video on the channel on my like youtube channel and stuff you can check uh that will uh show and talk about how we did the wallet snares and why we did wallet snares and it'll make sense but these are really thick kind of um deep sampled uh kind of one shot snares that sound really really good that that uh that good thickness and that good kind of deep down kind of coveted sound that we all want from our snares uh, is in there. Then we got the toms uh, from both of those kits. We got hi-hats. We did all different type of variations of hi-hats, like your loud, your soft. Uh, we did open, we did close, we did pea soup. I didn't know what pea soup was until the session. This is pea soup. You've heard that before. I didn't know that that was a pea soup. That's what that's called. Um, and so you have that, you have open foot crash, you have foot closed. So you, if you, if you get a recording, I've gotten recordings before with bad hi-hat mics on it. And it's like, yo, this hi-hat is trash. Here you go right here. You can easily replace uh, the hi-hat uh, and get it sounding good. We got crashes. We got swells. We got swells with sticks, swells with mallets. We got rides. We got the swell on the ride. We got the body. We got the bell. Uh, it's just really, really dope. And those are the one shots. These are all like 24-bit, 48K um, wave files that you get with the kit, uh, with, with the sample, with the pack when you download it. And then you have the trigger files, which the trigger files are go, which work, what I'm going to show tonight, they work inside of Slate Trigger. Uh, and you can use these to like do what we're going to show, what I'm going to showcase tonight, which is um, how to like actually mix and stuff using these. Uh, snares and trigger and these trigger samples are multi sampled deeply the, we did like five different velocity layers we did five different round robins uh, and you can google what a round robin is but it's basically whenever the snare is being hit it's not playing the same sample each time it plays a different sample every time that the snare or the kick or whatever is hit because it's a different one so it's always triggering multiple different samples and multiple different velocities to give it that natural uh, sound uh, when it's playing because it's reading the audio and it's trying to complement what what it's hearing. It's really, really dope. So you get all of those same snares, kicks and tums inside to use inside of trigger. Trigger is like the, the industry standard just about when it comes to like drum replacement. Uh, and then what's really, really sick and what's really, 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 really dope about this is you get Yash's 
legacy samples. If you don't understand the value of this right here, what you're looking at in this folder is seven Grammy awards right here in this folder, because these are the snares that um, Yash has used on countless records uh, for like the last like almost 20 years of his career, just utilizing these particular samples uh, in, in different mixes or what have you. So you'll get his legacy samples that you're talking about, you're talking about snare samples that was used on Kirk Franklin's record, snare samples that was used on Tasha Cobb's records, uh, snare, uh, snare drums and kicks that were used on Travis Green on, on uh, you're getting these samples inside this photo. So you get the new good stuff, that we created and you also get old um the old goodness that he's used on all the records this is easily we could have sold this for a thousand dollars but we're doing it for 79.99 this is the opportunity and the link is right down there you'll see it yashdrumwarehouse.com takes you straight there and you can actually uh just go ahead and grab these and we sample this over 10 thousand dollars worth of drums that we sampled through a hundred thousand dollars worth of gear and we're offering this to you and it works you got the trigger files and you got the one shot so they work in any DAW they work in any uh DAW you can use these in any sampler if you got an MPC you want to pull these up and play them on an MPC pad you can do that if you want got machine you can use them in machine if you got logic if you got Ableton if you got Pro Tools you can drop these because these are all wave files you can drop these in any uh DAW any software that you want and work them you know what I'm saying so uh that's the whole deal with that uh this is this is like I'm saying the best offering we put together uh in a long time and we're glad to uh give it to you so that's the that's pretty much the pack uh that's pretty much everything that comes uh along with it all right